<laughs> All right, welcome back. I'm Chris Wagner. This is Chris BI. We're going into episode 17 of our admin settings. We're going to be talking about audit and usage settings. Yeah, I, I mean, what do I like? This is a big one. Pay attention. Okay, so we're we're in our fabric tenant admin settings. We've got audit and usage settings are, are what's on the table today. The first one usage metrics for content creators. This basically allows you to go in and, uh, uh, you know, turn on if your content creators can see what other people, or I'm sorry, the usage of their reports and, and, and what's going on in there at a very aggregated level, all right? So this is something you should be enabling so that people can see, are people using their reports? If they're not using their reports, like, oh, get out. Uh, this is something you can enable for your entire organization. There's no issues there. I, I mean, again, as always, if you disagree, leave a comment down below, all right? Now, next one is per user data in usage metrics for content creators. Usage metrics for content creators will expose display names and email addresses of users who are accessing content, i.e., you get to see the users who are accessing the reporting information. And this is really helpful. Of course, this should be enabled unless you're in the EU or you work in some place where there's like strong like laws in place that that say you cannot see who's using different resources and stuff like that. Um, uh, if that's the case, then disable it or enable it for a small portion that does have permissions, whatever. Uh, generally speaking in the US, this is a thumbs up type of functionality. If you're in the EU and understand why this should not be enabled in the EU, let us know. Um, will feel bad for you, but this should be out there. It, it's helpful. You can find out who's, not only who's using your reports, but who's not using your reports uh, or who's stopped, right? Like you know, I'd recommend tracking this over time and getting an app to do that. But like you spit up a report because Big Boss Bob said he loves it. And Big Boss Bob is using it all the time at the start. And you go back and you review three months later and Big Boss Bob isn't using it anymore. I can go talk to Big Boss Bob and say, hey, Big Boss Bob, why are you not using this report? And you can get good feedback. It's a nice feature. It's easy to enable and, and make use of. I highly recommend it, all right? Last one here. Azure Log Analytics Connection for Workspace Administrators. Uh, straight up, this this the biggest control mechanism here as to where would you get costs or something that could cause you an issue is is in Azure, and if you, you know if someone is allowed to create an a log analytics instance over in Azure, let them come in and create that log analytics instance over here. This doesn't automatically generate one. You need to integrate it. Those things can be kind of expensive if you turn on like all the logging and functionality and you know turn off the like culling of data. So uh, you have to be a little careful about that. I mean, it's not the most expensive thing that's in Azure. So if you have the ability to create it in Azure, let them do the integration here. All right, this is not where I would be doing my uh, my prevention or my cost management here. Uh, and the reason you might want this, and like straight up, if you've got large models out there, you want to have log analytics running on all of your workspaces that have large models or large processes running on that. What that allows you to do, it sees, allows you to see in depth who's using what and get detailed logs that you just don't get any other way. I've got a great work video someplace uh, about log analytics and integrating it into the Power BI service. Uh, do check that out. It, it'll walk you through all of the settings in your log analytics that you have ready, as well as what you have to do to set up inside of the, the Power BI service, okay? All right, well, we're, we're gonna you know, call it there. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, leave or subscribe, turn on the alarm bell so you, you don't miss any of our future videos. If you found anything an issue in what I just said, uh, well, you know, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> leave a comment down below and we'll happily get into it and love to talk to you and understand more about what's going on. You have a blessed day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.